Doesn't Owen sound a little combative sometimes? Just a couple things you were just asked about. Um, you were shown the text message, I think that's on that board there. Yes. And counsel had asked you, that text message was made before there were any lawsuits going on, right? It was. Okay. So are you aware that Mr. Ramon reported to the ski patrol that you hit Terry in the back about 10 minutes after the crash? I don't understand the question. Are you aware that Mr. Ramon, about 10 minutes after the accident, reported to Ski Patrol that you struck Mr. Sanderson in the back? I don't think so. Okay. If that report was made that w 10 minutes after the crash, that was long before a lawsuit was even contemplated as well, isn't it? Yes. Okay. You mentioned about keeping a low profile. You like to keep a low profile when skiing. When you're skiing, correct. Um, does screaming at the top of your lungs profanities at Mr. Sanderson when he's on the ground keeping a low profile? After an incident like that where you feel hurt and violated, unfortunately, adrenaline can take over and emotion as well. Okay. Um, and counsel had asked you about touching you without your permission. I just want to make clear as we. Well, we didn't do the little uh, dance. Dance. Thank you. Yeah, the little dance. Um, but w when I tried to reenact it with myself, which is, I'm sure I'll get crap for that later from my children, um, it was the front of his body mm -hmm. that you believe touched you, right? Yes. Not his arms, not his hands. Correct. Okay. And when you guys fell to the ground, you landed on him. He did not land on you. That's right. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, you screamed when you fell? The What I remember, the first time I remember yelling was at Mr. Sanderson after the accident, but it's possible that I could have yelled when we were falling. Okay. And then you've described and you've kind of put with your fingers uh, how Mr. Sanderson skis went in between yours. Do you no, I don't think she was insinuating that he sexually assaulted her. She said that when she was hit initially, she that was one of the things that went through his mind. However, I don't know why the fuck Owens decided to later on say, so did he violate your... What, what the fuck did he say again? I think it was really stupid that he decided to go down that route. I don't think she was trying to say that, but I think Owens like decided to take advantage of it and thought it would be a good thing to bring up and let the jury hear that. I don't know why Owens fucking did that. I thought it was really fucking weird. <laughs> I'm like, Owens, oh, chill, okay? Ain't no one saying Terry sexually assaulted Gwyneth Paltrow. Even she didn't even say that. So I don't know what the heck Owens was thinking. Do you have any explanation how somebody... I think that could turn off the jury. Um, because you were jury. moving, right? Yes. He's moving. Yep. How somebody could... I'm just going to call it thread the needle stick. How can somebody, as they're moving down this hill, have the ability to put their skis in between yours when they're like 18 inches apart? I don't know, but that's what happened. Okay. Wait, what? Um, you testified that this was a crowded run? It was, there were people on the run. Okay, but you've just said when I asked you questions earlier, nobody was in front of you. Nobody was directly in front of me, no. Okay. Were there people in your vision in front of you? There were people on the run. Yeah, so basically it's like, he's saying she ruined his life. What is the pouch was probably saying? He annoyed the fuck out of her life. <laughs> okay. It was crowded. It was, I don't think I, I think it was moderately crowded on that day. Okay. And some of the people were your daughter and Carrie Oaks down below and your son and Eric Christensen to the left and up a little bit. I believe so. Okay. Um, and you've mentioned that Mr. Christensen was kind and patient with your son. He was. Okay. Very much so. All right. Um, you did pay him a lot and tip him well. <laughs> I paid Deer Valley Resort. I don't know what the resort pays their instructors, so that would be a question for them. Did you do you tip Mr. Christensen well? I hope so. Okay. I, I, me too. <laughs> um, but I would hope also if you're going to use this, and you'd had him as an instructor before, right? Yes. Okay, you would expect him to be kind and patient with your son. Well, he was kind and patient the first time, which is why we asked to have him again. Okay, great. 
Um, you said that you stuck around, mm -hmm. but while you stuck around, you never asked Mr. Sanderson if he was okay. Correct, because he had hit me and I was very upset. All right. You still didn't think it would be appropriate to ask somebody if they're all right? Mr. Christensen asked if he was okay, and he said he was. He meaning? Meaning Mr. Sanderson. I think you said that he mumbled it. He said, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, you've been asked a, a number of questions about um, the dollar. Mm -hmm. You were asked in your deposition, were you not, to your understanding, you're making a claim for the sum of one dollar as a symbolic law, right? Yes. And you said, correct. Yes? That's right. Okay. And then I also asked you in your deposition, are you telling me now you're making more than the sum of a dollar? Do you remember what your response was? I don't remember. You said no. That's not the case, though, is it? Your Honor, it's, it's a yes or no. That's, moved to, that's an improper question. She gave the answer. Overruled. It's a yes or no. Are you making a claim more than a dollar in this case? Now I am, yes. Thank you. No other questions. Have you guys ever gotten in like a car accident or something with someone? Where it wasn't your fault and someone hit you? What, one more. What, what's changed between or any now type of accident? when I took your deposition in 2020? What do you mean? Well, in 2020 you said, no I'm not. Now you said, now you are. What's changed? Well, you're making the, so for me, as I said, there's a delineation between the one dollar that I would receive and the lawyer's fees being reimbursed, which is not. Okay, so then, then you're not changing your position? No. Okay, so you've always been seeking more than a dollar? At the time of the deposition, I was seeking a dollar for myself. And I don't recall at the time of the deposition if we were also asking fees reimbursement. Well, I'll represent to you that that was pled in the counterclaim. I could show you a copy if you'd like. I'm, I'm sure you, do you I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think the that? jury's gonna care about this, but. I disagree but with. That in the counterclaim where you assume but I got involved on this case, yes. that you had asked for a dollar plus attorney's fees. I am asking for a dollar plus assessment of attorney's fees or that they're being paid. And from day one since you filed the counterclaim against Mr. Sanderson? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, something to do with law and crime. Uh, P three, which I think has been. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Last one. Last one. Last one. Uh, <laughs> report by Eric Christensen, and uh, for Gwyneth, do you know what the D number is? Yeah, because when I was listening to this, I was like, oh, you know, I would have asked the person <laughs> if they're okay, but I'm thinking, wait a second, I have been in car accidents before where it wasn't my fault. I didn't ask if they were okay. I was too busy thinking about if I was okay. And okay. I remember I was in a like a three or four car pile up where the, car, the last car hit another car, hit another car, and then finally hit me. I'm pretty sure none of the people that got hit asked if the first car was okay. We were all concerned about how we were doing because we were the ones that got struck. <laughs> it's not the so I could believe why at the time she was, you no, know, she didn't ask if the guy was okay because she was too pissed about her own situation and irritated. Um, so, yeah. I have a laser here. Oh, shit. Owen's bringing the laser. Owen's in his prop, man. Did his you see prop. this on the first day of testimony? Uh, and James, maybe do the top third. This is Chris Christensen's report. Yes. It years says a uh, male skier took her out from behind. Is yes. that what happened? Yes. This report is accurate? Very. I didn't see it, but heard her scream as she went down. Do you dispute that? I don't. I skied directly to her. Did he do that? He did, yes. The man was behind her. 
both were in discomfort. Is that all true? Yes. During lunch, she talked of being stiff and sore. Is that a true statement? It is. Can we go to the second, third now, please? I'm glad you can see it on your monitor. We had a hard time getting those going. Oh, is that why he printed it out? Because the right. monitors weren't I'm working? Look here. <laughs> it says on the right there, a t patroller came by to check on everyone. Do you have a memory of that? I don't. All right. I'm afraid. And then the bottom third, please. Your Honor, I'm going to object that this goes beyond the scope of my read, direct, cross, etc. Uh, Your Honor, I'm addressing this because. She she was asked additional questions. Kristen's laughing. Sort of where, who, who hit to. First thing male skier stated was that she, meaning you, mm -hmm. appeared right in front of him. All right, did you hear that? No. Uh, do you dispute it occurred? No thus admitting he was the uphill skier. He was. Uh, she never saw him. Are you sure? It's kind of interesting. Behind. Got Correct. bone broth up in here. Did you see Mr. Sanderson in front of you? No, he was behind me. Did you have a lash in your eye or otherwise have some eyesight problem? Nope, I still have twenty twenty. I need reading glasses, though. Were, were you blind in one eye and limited in the other? No. All right. I think there's a reference here that given your height and Mr. Sanderson uh, less height, mm -hmm. less being less tall, that someone less height. wouldn't have felt him against your back. Can you just comment on that? It depends on how the incline well, was too, right? He was uphill of me, so he was higher than me, and he pressed whatever of his body against my back when his skis slid between mine. Were you standing still when the skis came between you? No, I was gently skiing, and he kind of gently skied right into me. Does that mean Mr. Sanderson was going faster than you were going? No, it wasn't an impact. Okay, well... Until to, we hit the ground. To come up upon you... Yes. I guess he had to have been skiing a little faster than you. Fair? I don't know, because he was behind me, so I don't know what he was doing. All right. Ramon said that Sanderson had his head downhill, spread eagle, out cold. Did you observe that? No. Was his head downhill? Your Honor, objection goes beyond the scope. I think you're going beyond the scope. Uh, Your Honor, she was asked about, uh, I'll move on, but she was asked she was objecting. where people were. She did ask where people landed in her redirect or recross, so you, you can go into that. Thanks. So you heard Ramon say spread eagle, head down, right? I did. Out cold. Yep. Do you think you would have noticed if he had been spread eagle? Uh, first, just comment on that, yes or no? Objection. Sustained? Just comment. Like, I did see him uh, <laughs> spread eagle, or he did not. I, I'm, I'm trying Owens? to be as broad as I can. Huh? Owens? Well, that's, that's leading. Get okay. it together. Get it together, Owens. Breathe. It is. <laughs> That is true. You got this, Owens? Was your head, when you came to arrest, downhill? We, both of our heads were in the same direction, uphill. So, Ramon said they were both downhill. That is incorrect. I, the ski, the, the expert today even said it was impossible for him to get lift off and so that's just not what happened. The comment was that you cursed a, at him. Um, why didn't you say, uh, pardon me, sir, I, I think you inadvertently uh, ran into me. Why didn't you do that in a nice, calm manner? Again, I felt violated. I was upset. My, I was worried about my knee. My back hurt. It felt violating to have somebody press their body against my back. I was full of adrenaline. I was really upset, and I, I'm sorry that I 
cursed. I think Ramon said something like, someone gave him the stink eye. Your, your Coldplay buddy, who wasn't your Coldplay <laughs> buddy, but gave, gave him the stink eye or something to that effect. I don't like remember a, that. A mean look. I don't know who that would have been, and I don't remember. Brad probably wasn't too happy that someone had hurt his wa his girlfriend. Is that I'll let it go. Who hit who? Oh my gosh. I want it. What's the time? Three words, Your Honor. We'll let it go. Thank you. Thank you. Cross. What is going on? Uh, speaking to the microphone, y'all. Um, let me just give you the uh, same instruction that I have given you a few times. So we're recessing now until 9 a.m. on Monday morning. Okay. And so you'll be on your, uh, you'll be on your own over the weekend. Before we recess, I need to remind you of the following instruction. Mm -hmm. Please do not discuss this case with anyone, including other jurors. Please do not attempt to learn anything about yeah, the case outside were the courtroom, including from other jurors. Please talk avoid back there. Is that radio, you, Kristen? TV, internet, and newspaper reports on this case. Please keep an open mind throughout the presentation of the evidence, and please do not form or express an opinion on this case until such time as it is finally submitted to you for deliberations. And the final instruction is have a great weekend. Thanks, Judge. Judge Kent. Doesn't it seem like sometimes Owens is a little bit combative with Gwyneth Paltrow? <laughs> Just answer yes or no. And you can leave too. <laughs> Uh, Owens. Owens, yes. Owens, Owens. We may call our client in our case. Uh, any objection to that? No. Okay. And I mean, I, I don't know if they have an objection, but it would be proper because you're limited by the scope of, of cross before. Thank you. Uh, can we sit for a minute? Because I'm not quite sure. done. Uh, is there anything we should address before the weekend? I know there's a there's a brief that's due Peace. by the defend, uh, play, uh, defendants rather by noon on Sunday. 